Here's why President Biden is so weak and why that is endangering us and the free world. Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. One characteristic of a strong leader is being able to successfully adjust to changing circumstances. The world is undergoing ominous shifts, but Joe Biden is floundering. His weak and confused responses are a vivid and worrying contrast to what past presidents have done. After World War II, for example, the U.S. intended to withdraw its forces from Europe. But the growing menace of the Soviet Union led President Harry Truman and a bipartisan coalition to fundamentally alter traditional American foreign policy. No more isolationism. The U.S. would take the lead role in saving the free world. For the first time in our history, America would maintain a large peacetime military. Unfortunately, President Biden and his crew refuse to adjust to a world that is becoming more dangerous. They still act as if it were the early 1990s when the U.S. was indisputably the sole global superpower. Today, China, Russia, and Iran are bent on reshaping the largely benign world order that took shape in the aftermath of the Second World War. What is worrying is that their growing aggressiveness guarantees a military confrontation. China harasses U.S. ships and aircraft. It is getting more violent with Philippine shipping vessels and other craft in the South China Sea. It routinely violates Taiwanese airspace and conducts ever more elaborate military exercises near that island. Iran is probing more and more with its armed proxies, most notably the Houthis, disrupting shipping in the crucial Red Sea. We should have hit both Iran and the Houthis hard for this, but Biden is only now contemplating missile strikes. Astonishingly, Biden continues to appease Iran by letting it violate sanctions. The sale of oil to China and others has given the mullahs tens of billions of dollars to strengthen its military power. When President Biden met with Xi Jinping a few weeks ago in San Francisco, the Chinese came away believing the U.S. is so fearful of a war with Beijing that it'll do little to stop China's aggressive moves to establish its control of the South China Sea. So much for our 220-year-old bedrock principle of freedom of the seas. Shockingly, Israel's future is becoming less assured. Put aside Biden's appalling pressure on Jerusalem not to eradicate Hamas, the fact is that Hezbollah in Lebanon, armed by Iran, has both an army hardened from fighting in Syria and well over 100,000 missiles. Iran itself now has highly dangerous missiles and pilotless air weaponry. Israel could survive an all-out assault by both enemies today, but would suffer appalling damage. Yet Biden does nothing to stop Iran's military buildup and that of its proxies or its pursuit of nukes. Putin feels that he can win in Ukraine as the U.S. and Europe dawdle on needed assistance. All this means that our adversaries will keep pushing, which eventually will lead to a serious military confrontation. Tragically, for all who value freedom, Joe Biden is no Harry Truman. I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions. I look forward to being with you soon again. Music